Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Tuesday the 12th of January comes to you from London. Uh, a bit more green on the screen today, so um, markets are really seesawing at the moment. A lot going on, obviously, with coronavirus and the US political state. So uh, we start by looking at currencies, then we'll look at uh, stocks and last of all some commodities and the energy mix. And we see here uh, my long term, my medium term and my short term view of the market with a corresponding point figure chart. So uh, the, below the cloud is bearish, above the cloud is bullish. Uh, and so that gives us a very quick view of long term, medium term and short term view of the market. So the dollar is bearish on the longer term charts but has recovered the last few days so we are just seeing a short term bullishness creeping in there but the long term picture is still one that is very bearish we are seeing here the euro looking weaker against that stronger dollar but the trend's not really that much altered. Sterling sitting at 135.90 we were as high as 137 there at one stage so uh, that's uh, quite key. We are starting to build again back to that 136 level. So the trend again against the dollar is looking pretty good. Actually, sterling looking better against the euro sitting at 111.68. Uh, this is really starting to nudge levels we haven't seen for a few weeks. And so that's quite key as well. Uh, looking at uh, Bitcoin, we're sitting at $35,600. So uh, we had a very dramatic day yesterday. We saw 20-25% moves in the price uh, and we've recovered somewhat from there. That shows up on that 60-minute chart. We are short-term bearish and, of course, long-term bullish. Interestingly, we hit the target almost exactly on Bitcoin. That 40,000 tar target was in place uh, and we need to wait and see for any new upside targets. For the moment, we don't have them. Even on the 60-minute uh, chart, no clear targets there. The uh, US stock market was down uh, two thirds of a percent on the S&P 500 and we are just starting to see tech stocks underperforming. They were not uh, looking as strong yesterday. We actually had a slight down day there. The Dow was up two thirds of a percent. We are seeing rotation into more defensive stocks. US banks looking stronger, tech looking weaker. And if we look at the futures this morning, we're up a quarter percent on the S&P future and third of a percent on the uh, NASDAQ future. So it does suggest that we will go higher today. The VIX volatility coming off the fear index coming back. We're bearish on the fear index pretty much now on all three time frames, suggesting that we're not seeing any uh, real market risks at the moment. The fear index is under control. Remember that the higher the fear index goes, the more uh, we need to worry about the market. Uh, to, looking in Europe, we've got the DAX up uh, a quarter of a percent. The CAC current is flat. Japan was up very slightly. The Hang Seng was up 1.3%. And China reversed yesterday's losses of around 1% and was actually up over 2%. Chinese stocks are breaking out, moving higher. So that's really key there as well. The Sensex in India was up half a percent. And if we look at the Aussie market, it was up quarter, uh, down quarter percent, so just uh, falling away a little bit there. Looking at gold, uh, we're up 0.7% this morning, so we might see a little bit of a, a move back. We're just taking time to come back through this cloud. The long-term trend is looking pretty good on gold, but the short term, we're just back to bearish, but starting to recover. And the same with silver, of course, they follow each other relatively closely. A little bit more work to do for silver to get back to short-term bullish. No big downside targets to worry about, so for the moment, uh, we're pretty sanguine about that fall through the cloud. If we look uh, at uh, copper we're seeing a, a little bit of a run there although we've just come back to short-term bearish we had a bit of a big down day day yesterday u.s bond yields continue to rise we flagged this uh, many times we've seen that jump out on bond yields they're just pushing higher and higher all the time so uh, we are seeing moves in bond yields suggesting that we're going to go much higher still so that's that's quite significant Taking a look at the energy mix now, uh, we've got Brent crude up 1% this morning, so that's looking strong. Uh, we've got multiple upside targets, some 1.5, uh, 3% higher, so it does look like we will go higher. 1% higher, that 56.80 level is beckoning, so it does look like we'll push higher. Uh, just need to break that uh, high that we saw at the end of last week. WTI up 1.2%, so a similar picture there. Uh, as well. Taking a look at uh, US Nat gas, 
uh, we are up 2.7% and we had quite a big move yesterday. So we are seeing uh, a resurgence here. The LNG move has had a big impact on gas markets, less so on uh, US gas, uh, given that it takes several weeks to get uh, the, the gas liquefied to uh, the Asian demand center. So it's it's just uh, not really translated to, through to uh, US gas. We're seeing Arbob up uh, just under 1% and coal actually up 1.3%. So that's pushing higher, not yet making new highs, but looking better. Emissions up 1.27%, uh, nudging that 35 level. That's pretty key for emissions, but that trend is undisputable. It's going up. NBP up another 7% this morning. We said yesterday there was more in the tank. TTF um, was is also up further. And uh, if we look at German power, we're up 1.3%, breaking to new highs. That's really significant. Lots of targets there on German power, so that's looking really good indeed. Uh, if we look at French power, little change there. Uh, we haven't got a paint yet this morning, but looking stronger. Of course, German power really driving things. And if we look at um, uh, Nordic power, we're also pushing ahead on the Cal uh, as well. And last of all, a quick look at UK power. Again, just breaking higher. Keep an eye on your OTC prices there. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.